Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, it's 619. Welcome back. All right, we have a winter weather smorgasbord again. Yeah, here. <laughs> I got, like that. You've got your cold, your snow, yeah. your wind chills, whatever you want. Yeah, We've got it all here. Uh, well, the good news is I've been saying this is going to make spring feel that much sweeter. And That's calendar right. spring happens, I believe, in 42 days. I'm but who's counting? I, who's <laughs> counting? I'm a huge fan of countdowns. I've got it on my phone over there, so I look at it all the time. Hey, take a look at the uh, satellite and radar. A little bit of light snow for parts of the north this morning. We did see a couple of inches for some folks last night. Uh, so if you're driving around Rugby, also uh, around Botno, you're going to run into some light and even tiny little pockets of moderate snow. Nothing really concerning, but I can tell you what is concerning is this system moving in from the south, especially for the southeastern part of the state here. Now, this is already moving towards the border, and not all of us will see snow from this system. Temperatures are going to be uh, sub-zero all day, four below in Bismarck, seven below right now in Minot, and wind speeds are out of the north here. They'll pick up a little bit as that system does uh, move in from the south. Uh, now, what we're looking at is a wind chill advisory until noon tomorrow. The wind chills right now, some of the lowest we've actually seen for morning wind chills, uh, 15 to 20 below, even down to about 33 below in uh, rugby. But these temperatures are going to get even colder as we head towards Thursday and Friday behind this system that's moving through right now. So here's this morning. Here's 9 a.m. this morning. We've got this snow moving over the border. It's mostly going to impact the James River Valley area. But as we head into the uh, latter part of the day into the overnight, we'll see it extend into parts of central North Dakota. This is going to give us a light accumulation for folks in uh, Minot, especially in Bismarck. We're looking at one to three inches. And the further east you go, this is where you're going to run into the pockets of heavy snow. Now, as high pressure moves in from the north, these two systems almost compete a bit, and that's what's going to pick up these winds. So you're going to get a little breezy here overnight and into early tomorrow morning. Now, as we head through the day tomorrow, this is out of here, and clouds will decrease, but I think they're going to decrease mostly for folks in Williston and Dickinson, and we're going to hold on to that cloud cover for a bit longer uh, in Bismarck and uh, in Bismarck and Minot. The best shot at some great sunshine comes on Friday with high pressure, and with high pressure comes that really cold temperature uh, forecast that we've been talking about in the last few days. So we're cooling down, but we're at least going to get some sunshine. So here's the snow forecast I was telling you about off towards the southeast here. Some of the higher numbers around McIntosh, Dickey and Lemoore counties, and so that's where we have our winter storm warning, and you can see on the outskirts of that the winter weather advisory just on the fringe eastern part of our viewing area there. So that's something to watch out for if you're traveling, say, to Fargo today. Highs today back into the single digits, sub-zero, and then we've got uh, overnight lows that will be a little colder tonight, 10 and 15 below zero, but it is the wind chills we'll be talking about heading into Thursday. Here's Thursday afternoon, 30 and 40 below, even down to 50 below as we head into Thursday night and into Friday morning. Friday morning, <coughs> some of the lowest wind chills for this week. And Saturday morning, not nearly as cold, but still 30 and close to 40 below. Here's your Dickinson three-day outlook back into the sub-zero category there for both uh, Thursday and Friday. Friday, of course, getting us some decent sunshine. Williston, the same there. The coldest day right now looking to be on Thursday for Williston. But here's the Minot seven-day, double-digit sub-zero there for Friday, and we rebound just just a bit for the weekend, but not nearly enough to get above zero until next week. Here's Bismarck again, uh, starting to see those positive numbers into the next work week, although I think all of next week we're going to remain a little below average, which is actually averages in the 20s. We'll more than likely see a lot of single digits for daytime highs next week. Averages mm. in the 20s, huh? Yeah, Boy. that would be glorious right now. That would be yes. really Boy, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get there someday. Thanks, yes. Amber. Keep it with us on Good Day Dakota, still ahead. Well, this cold is keeping the